Right, so today we're going to look at uh, rigid body dynamics and make something like this um, sand timer. Yeah, very, very simple to do. So let's start with a new scene. I'll show you how you build this. And obviously you can um, you can elaborate on this. You can put glass textures, wood textures on it if you want to do an hourglass timer. Uh, but yeah, the idea is, is simple. We'll just grab the pieces. So we just need, uh, what do we need? We need, um, I can never find it when I get come to doing these. A capsule, that's what we need. Um, so I think we're going to use it that size. Um, yeah, we use it that size. And um, the first thing you do, rather than make glass textures and things like that, which could slow it down, um, really quick view in the viewport here is either to click on basic and click on x-ray. But for me, that doesn't make it transparent enough. What I like to do is right click, go to render tags, then go to display. And then click on the first one that says use, shading mode, change that to lines. Okay, and now we get this very open, see straight through it, um, capsule shape. Okay, so now we can go back to object. We can increase some of these segments here because we're probably gonna have a, need a few more around here like that. And now to make it into an hourglass, we simply grab from the deformer menu, a bulge. Okay, we put the bulge as a, um, as a child of the capsule. And then we do fit to parent. And then we reduce the height about, say about 100. So they will, yeah, so do 100. Uh, click on fill it. And then we want to reduce minus the strength. Okay, so it doesn't bulge, it sucks in like that. Now, we can't go too tight here because the, uh, the balls won't pass through. I think we can go about there, about minus 96. Okay. If you want to turn all this off, we can just go to filter and we can turn off the deformer. Um, we can turn, I thought that would turn that off, the deformer. I think that's a deformer, isn't it? There we go. Uh, and also some other bits as well. So we can turn off the work plane and the horizon and no, turn off the horizon. Where's that? There. Okay. So a completely clean scene, you see? So we can do that. It makes it a bit easier. Now, we have a capsule with a bulge in it, giving us this hourglass look. And now we need to fill it with some sand items, little balls, whatever, that are gonna start in this top chamber and then filter through this hole and finish up in the bottom chamber. So quite simply, we're just gonna grab a sphere. Uh, let's reduce the segments down a little like that. Uh, bring it down to say uh, 0.5, so they're nice and tiny. As you can see that very, very small little pieces there. And now if we just uh, hold Alt and click on the cloner, and we need to set the form to sphere. So we, so we have these as a round ball in the top. And then if we reduce the size per step between them to about one centimeter, Okay, and then we want to increase the count. So we'll go out, and then we'll go up like that, and then out. So I'm, I'm thinking, what's that, like 30, 35, and 60 on the height. And then let's change the instance mode to multi-instance, because I think that makes this run quicker. Let's just check, we don't, we don't have any intersections. It looks like we may, no, I think they're fine. Yeah, I think they're okay like that. Looks like a like a nest, doesn't it? Looks a bit looks a bit nest like. <laughs> um, so that's set. Now with, there's quite a lot of uh, clones here. Yeah. So it may slow it down. I've had I've had cases where this has just crashed out on me. So we will just have to see what happens on this one. Um, 
Right, so to make this dynamic now, on the cloner, we need to right click and add rigid body. Uh, the thickness, we need to have a look at the sphere. So we've got that at 0.5. So we need to change this thickness to 0.5, just so it collides properly with each other. Um, auto will be fine because they're like sphere shape, so it should be fine on auto. Let's take the friction off so they can, so there's nothing holding them, so they can all filter through nicely. Um, on the capsule, we need to right click and add a collider, but we need to go to the back and take off friction. We go to the back side on the collider side because we're colliding with the inside of the shape, not the outside. So with that sat, set, Sorry, sat. <laughs> with that set, let's press play and then fingers crossed because it has to just work out this first initial step. And then hopefully it will all start to run. Now, it feels a bit slow to me. It feels like we've, we've over, overcooked the amount of, there we go, it's starting to work. It may, we may get collider um, limitation issues here. If, if we push it too far and we haven't got enough memory on the graphics card or the processor, think it's probably going to do that to me now it looks like it's struggling a little bit to you know to, to get this to work it may we may get some collider here we go we've got a collision limit exceeded so we've got too many there for my graphics card so what we need to do I don't know if it's going to allow me to kind of come out of this now it seems to have crashed on me so I'll be back in a few seconds um, after I've done a reboot and then we'll try something with a few less Right, here we are, rebuilt it, um, only took a few minutes. Um, so, what we're gonna do, because of processors and all of this collider stuff, is we're, we're gonna do a, a slightly smaller amount of clones. Um, we can do 20 by 20 by 20, two centimeters gap between them to make sure that they don't collide at all. And now let's add the dynamics back on. So we go collider, no friction, collide with the back, and then on the cloner, we go rigid body and we change this, and we've got this at 0.5, we change the thickness to 0.5. Right, fingers crossed, let's see what we get this time. Let's just see if we've got enough power to deal with um, these clones. I haven't got it on multi-instance, but it doesn't seem right. Okay, so we're, we're getting, um, we're getting a lot of them fall out the bottom here. Now, the reason for that is the iterations, substeps, and all of the calculations, which we find in Control D in the project settings. So we go to simulation, we've got 20, and we've got one iteration, which is probably not enough. So if we up that to say eight, and then on the collisions, we go up to I don't know, about five and five, something like that. Let's run that again, and let's see if we can retain most of them inside. There we go, look. Okay, the few escaped. So the more, the more um, bigger numbers you add here, the more closely this is going to resemble real life and things will work better. But you know, if you can dial them down just enough, you'll get speed over accuracy as well. Now, as you saw, that wasn't too good because they just went straight through. So on the bulge here, we can go down to say like minus 96. And let's see if that holds them more in this neck just here. So we just let that play again. Okay, that's not too bad. So if we go in a bit closer, you can now see with a little bit more detail look. So you get the idea. Um, you can play with the size of these balls, the shape of them. You can, you can um, make them look more like sand. Um, to do that, I would just take the sphere and knock all the segments down to say five or something. You know, so we've got very angular pieces rather than um, uh, smooth like like spheres. We need uh, to add a few more frames. The 90 is not quite enough. Let's go about 300. Uh, I'm just going to put this back to um, where we had it. I think about 20, just on spheres, because we've got the Collider um, Auto, and it's working it out on spheres, which is easier than working it out on different angled shapes. So I would leave it 
and also the friction here that we've, we've left that in, let's take that out so it'll, it'll, they'll run even smoother. What I was going to say is if we let this run, let's just see if it'll catch up and, and, and happen. What we need it to do is all flow through, all land in the bottom, and then we can add more and more cloners each time. You know, we, 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 can, um, we, we can set those and then we can add another set of cloners separately and let them fall through. And then we can just add to the volume in the bottom, okay? And we can just gradually build it up. What we don't want to do is go, you know, 50 to 100,000 clones all at the same time. We, we need to do this in stages and then we can um, cache it and build it up that way. Right, so as you can see, it, it is working like a like a timer because this is taking some time for them to drop through. Um, there we go. It's getting to, getting towards the end. There's actually some stuck there. I think it's because I paused it and didn't let it run through. So anyway, that that's that's the idea. All right now, what we could also do, I just thought of another way of doing this to add more, is we could we could put this in the bottom half. And then just let that drop into the bottom like this, okay. And then when it settles, uh, we go here to dynamics, and at the bottom it says initial 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 state, and we set that, okay. So that will be the initial state when we rewind the the head back and press press play. Look, it's not gone back to the ball; it's staying in that shape. So what we can do now is we can. Uh, we can copy that cloner, make another one. Okay, and this one, we can say clear. So we've cleared the state of that one. And then we can run the sim again. And then this time, this new amount of clones will then pile down onto, onto the existing clones. Okay, and when they've settled, we could do the same thing again. And we can set the initial state okay so what we're doing is we're building up layers of these balls rather than it all happen at the same time we we can do it in stages so we can copy the cloner again it appears up here we can run the sim actually let's go to the, the start it's got to wait for these to catch up it's a little bit slow sometimes because the amount of clones we're playing with Okay, we play that. So that's three lots of clones all landing all on top of each other here. All right, so this is gradually, obviously this is quite a big vessel. So you could make it smaller and then these would fill it up quicker. And as you can see, we've got three and we can just keep building up more and more and more and more clones. And it seems to handle it better rather than throw all of it at it at once. You know, we don't want 100,000 clones trying to work themselves out. We want to do a few thousand clones and it can handle it so build it up in layers um, what we can do after that is once the initial state has been set we can now say click on the capsule let's record a um, a keyframe here at the beginning and then say after a second let's move the um, playhead along a, uh, to 30 30 frames a second and now let's turn the hourglass over completely over and constrain it to 180 and hit another keyframe and now if we watch this animation play through what I'm hoping will happen is all of these clones that we've added in will now turn over just like a proper sand timer and they'll all be gathered together so we'll get a lot more clones this way but by doing them all in stages all right so these will now it will turn over and these will all fall after it's done the expansion here we go and now they'll all fall into into the middle and we are losing a few there which is down to the the collision um passes here on in 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 the project setting so five and five maybe the sub steps maybe we could up that maybe we could up this a little and then up these a little and add the M frame, frame pass as well. Then just see how that goes. 
Um, you may, you know, you'll always lose a few unless you just keep bringing those figures up and up and up. So this, this is it really, this is all today's has been about. It's just showing you the speed of which we can use clones, but obviously if we push them too far and you don't have the processor, I mean, I think I need probably a bit more processing speed, new graphics card, and we'll probably be able to push this even further. You probably have that, you could probably push yours further. So see what the capabilities are of your, of your computer processor, and then you'll know how many you can do, but it's, it's, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot that we can handle in here. Look. And, it's, and it's doing this very quickly, even though we've got three sets of clones all coming through here now. Look. It's still splashing these around inside here. And yeah, we've lost one there, look. But because we've upped it, it's a lot less that we're losing through the geometry now. And then when this settles down, it's coming through like an egg, uh, like a sand timer. Uh, so just keep adding more and more clones, build it up, build it up, build it up, and then you'll probably get a vessel that's quite full. Put some sand texture on, put some glass texture onto the outside of, of this, build some wooden posts and things around it, make it look like an egg timer, and you've got the whole thing. So I hope that's been helpful, useful, whatever. Let me know below if it hasn't. <laughs> I can take it, honestly. Um, yeah, any questions, put them in the comments below and I'll speak to you very soon in the next video. My name is Mike German from Visual Animation. Take care, goodbye for now.